What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rhino Review Stuff. I'm Rhino, and I review stuff. And the stuff I've got to review today is a video that is a long time coming. I've actually had this product in my possession for a little over a month, and I have tried my best to do several recordings of it, but I just didn't feel like any of those gave it the justice it deserves, because this is actually a really cool professional product. It's the Tungveo Video Conferencing System. Let's check it out. Now, as I mentioned, I have been using this off and on for the past month and a half, almost two months. And yeah, that's why the box is a little bit grody here, but let's check out what you get. We got two different manuals here because this isn't just a webcam, this is a conferencing system. So you've got the actual camera here. It is a PTZ camera, so pan, tilt, and zoom. And it's got this really, actually a really good Bluetooth speaker. It's kind of this little round waffle looking thing, and it works great. We've got this mounting bracket here to put up on the wall. We've got the Blu-ray speaker, which also serves as a telephone. We got a nice sized box of accessories here. We've got a USB cable here with several adapters. The cable is six feet long and it is extremely thick and beefy. We've got a remote that covers all of the functionality and it does take AAA batteries. They are not included. We got the power brick and we've got a USB C cable to charge the Bluetooth speaker. And this is the Tungveo PTZ video conferencing camera. It is 1080p, it does 30 frames per second, but it does it very, very well. And under the right sort of lighting, not the kind of lighting I got in here, you get some amazing video results, like the colors just match. They are real-to-life colors. It's great. It uh, goes straight down, it can go straight up, and it does actually go 360 degrees. This thing is freaking amazing. So yeah, you can get just the right angle. When you got this thing mounted on the wall, you can go everywhere with it. And it works very well in that capacity. I don't have the video to prove it because that was in one of the previous iterations of this video, and I was asked not to use that footage. The audio and video you're seeing right now is coming directly from the PTZ camera system from Tungveo. This right here is default straight out of the box. I have opened it up and placed it here on my desk, and this is the exact experience you would get if you were in an office with fluorescent lights. Now, one difference between my office and, say, your office is I've got some blue covers over my lights just to kind of diffuse things and make it a little bit easier on the eyes during the day. However, this is pretty standard office stuff. Now, the audio is going to have a little bit of an echo here because I don't have a lot of things on the wall probably much like your offices. I also do not have carpet in here. I have tile floors, probably much like your offices. So if you are using this for a video conferencing device in an office situation, this is the audio and this is the video you would get right out of the box. However, this camera system has some really cool stuff that aren't available on a regular webcam. And you can tell because gosh, it's got this controller here that can pretty much control everything. And it is a PTZ system, which means you can pan, tilt, and zoom. You got all of that functionality right here with this remote. The audio you're hearing is coming out of the Bluetooth disc that comes with this. That is sitting about four and a half feet away from me behind the camera. That's how large my desk is here. So this is me talking at a normal you know, office room volume. And this is the audio that it is picking up. And I think it sounds really good for what it is. It's definitely better than telephone. So for a video conferencing system, you're going to get better audio than a telephone. And I know this because I've also listened back to my previously recorded video here using that little Bluetooth disc, and it sounded really fantastic. So I'm really impressed with that. I also love the colors and the exposure settings here in this camera. For one thing, I look exactly on the screen as I do in real life. Like I can hold my arm up to the computer and it's pretty much the same skin tone. I can look at my shirt and it's the same kind of faded black. And I can look at my little do-rag here and it is the dark kind of sweaty red with the black on it. Everything just looks great. It looks really awesome. And I'm really impressed with that. One caveat, this does only do 30 frames per second. And that's not really a big deal. If you're doing a video conferencing thing, you're not going to be streaming at 60 frames per second. 
I mean, some networks are capable of it. Most networks are not. And if you are streaming into a setting with a lot of different users at the same time, what's the point of having 60 frames per second if your video is going to be this big on their screen? In fact, most of the video conferencing software that you can use, other than the Tungveo software, limits you to 720p anyway. So 720p at 30 frames per second looks pretty darn good through this camera, just like this right here, 1080p at 30 frames per second looks pretty darn good. So let's talk about those features here on the remote. Like I said, it's a PTZ camera. You can do some zooming, the Z part. So you can do slow zoom, and it's pretty slow. Then you can do fast zoom, <laughs> and it moves quite a bit faster. And if you didn't get just the right spot, you can also pan up or tilt up, and you can pan side to side. Checking out my computer screen here to make sure I am in the right place. Of course, you can go back to home and it puts you right back where you started from and it's a very smooth experience. Um, also, you saw kind of it was jerky. That's because I'm going tap, tap, tap. If you just hold the button, it moves really, really smooth. Like there's nothing bad about it. You can go straight down. Yep, there we go. You can go straight down. You can also go straight up. So um, yeah, let me go up there and you can take a look at the little covers I've got on my lights. Oh, and it was good. So in addition to doing all of that on the fly, you've got presets up here that you can use. So you can set certain angles or certain positions to certain presets, and uh, just at the tap of a button, you can move them to it. Pretty nice feature. I love that this PTZ camera has that. Another neat thing you can do is there is a menu button, and there you go. Hopefully it should pop up on the screen here, and looks like it is in Chinese right now. Well, that's my bad. I uh, kind of reset the system a few minutes ago, but um, it, you can mess with all of the settings, exposure, hue, saturation, all of that stuff. When I'm back in my studio, I will try to get that set back in English. Speaking of my studio, I'm going to head back there now because I think you've seen pretty much what you can expect in a office situation. And for an office video conferencing system, this thing is really, really good. I am more impressed with this than any of the other cameras I've used in an office setting in the past. Another thing I'd like to point out, um, the administration building also uses this camera. I thought that was pretty wild. I just happened to be walking through the main conference area and this is mounted up on their wall. And that's really cool. So just the chance to use some of their professional stuff and to make this video, it makes me feel pretty good. So I didn't really get into the uh, speaker here when I was doing the video for the camera in my office. However, um, all of the buttons here function as you would expect. The call button here, it has a microphone on it that will mute your microphone so nobody can hear you speaking. It does work very well. It also works with a phone, which is awfully nice if you're connecting through Google Meet or something, and you've got two separate things that are connected at the same time. The audio output of this is really very good for something this size. I was genuinely shocked by that. Um, you can see here around the edges of it, it does have microphones kind of in a 360 degree rotation. So it does pick up audio from everywhere in the room. If you've got this thing sitting in the middle of a conference table, everybody's voices will be heard and they're going to sound just like they did in the video I just showed. And I got to admit, I'm actually really impressed with this thing. Um, even though I probably won't be able to use the camera in my office, I will definitely be using this because I like the audio output that much. It's so much better than the speakers on my little laptop that I have at work that, uh, yeah, this is going to be my little go-to device, and I might have to mount this up on the wall or something because I really do like how this sounds. So what's going to set this apart from the average webcam? Well, there's actually a substantial difference. This is a actual conferencing device. The same sort of technology that's been used for decades in the office is now gone digital. On the bottom here, you've got these dip switches that you can set up your baud rate and you can set up all the different lines that you need, just like you've been able to do for the past 40 years. So that's awesome, except it's gone completely digital here. You've got the USB here to connect it to the computer, so you can use this with all of the different conferencing software suites that are out there. Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, all of that stuff, and it just works great. We've got S-Video in, S-Video out. We've got the RJ45 right there. Of course, we've got the power supply going in right there. On the front of it, you do got those fancy little LEDs, and I just love twisting this thing around. <laughs> ah, it excites me. 
So if you're going to be using this in the average office situation, you've got those big fluorescent lights up above, you've got a huge TV on one wall, and you've got a bunch of your cronies sitting around the table next to you, this thing's going to be an absolute beast. I highly recommend this for an office situation. If you're a normal user like me who is going to be sitting in a little studio like this, this isn't going to do you any good. This is not for you. This is for a business. This is a professional video conference device. And for that purpose, I give it two thumbs up. This thing is an absolute beast. So as with all of my videos, I will leave a link down there in the description. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.